Hello everybody, um, happy Thanksgiving here in America, if you celebrate Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, it is actually the day after Thanksgiving, Friday, uh, <clears throat> November 27th, 2015, yay! Let's see, it is Friday morning and it is 4.35 in the morning and I am waiting for the gym to open this morning. <laughs> I hate holidays when the gym is closed. It's 24 hour fitness. It should be open. But on a couple holidays a year, like three holidays a year, they cut back their hours. And today is one of them. So they didn't have the overnight shift. So I couldn't work out first thing this morning. So I got to wait till six in the morning to go to the gym. So I'm waiting to go to the gym, which will be weird because there'll be other people there. Like, Lots of more people than when I go, usually. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm looking forward to it, and I'm happy that I I came back home last night and uh, so I could go to the gym this morning. And let's see. So yesterday, I ran the little local turkey trot, which we call the Oli Trot here for Olympia. Got a cute little dog tag when you run. I like these. These are really cute. And this is the second year that I've run it. And it's a four-mile route. This uh, yesterday was like 26 degrees when we got down there waiting. It was so cold. But like I had said before, I'm testing out my cold weather gear on my practice training runs and stuff. So... I felt pretty confident with my, excuse me, cold weather gear, but it was still really cold. It was bitter cold. My fingers were freezing. We were all freezing down there. <laughs> and uh, I did wear all my layers and even a coat. And and a uh, short way through the race, I did tie my coat around my waist. And that went fine. I'd rather do that than be cold at the beginning. I just hate being cold at the beginning of a race I don't like that at all so I figured that out about myself so I wear lots of layers and just di discard and wrap around my waist as I go this coat though was not very wrap around friendly because the arms were kind of short so it was hard to do that while I'm running <laughs> so um I felt pretty good about the run um I, I kind of you know the whole time I wanted to stop I do that a lot I don't know if any of you are runners but yeah, I'm like, yeah, I could stop now. I got here. You know, I could, but I kept going because I know how I'll feel at the end of a race. Like I'm so proud of myself when I end and finish. So I just keep that in mind. I put on my music, you know, and um, let's see. So I started out really slow this time on purpose because I'm experimenting with my aerobic heart rate now in a in a run where I run continuously I'm not going to keep my aerobic heart rate right now because I'm trying to build that up but I wanted to but I learned on a training run this week that if I start out with a fast warm-up my heart rate just does not come down so I'm going to experiment with starting on a slower warm-up and trying to keep an aerobic heart rate from there Otherwise, I can't get it, and all I can do is walk for an aerobic heart rate. So anyway, it's been fun training this um, Maffetone method way uh, with building an aerobic base. I'm just starting, just starting. So um, it's fun because it's a lot easier on the body, and it's something to keep track of the whole time. I can keep track of my heart rate. It kind of passes the time, and it's kind of a challenge for me. And I feel really good about what I'm hoping for is to build that capacity in myself that I can mix in there with my other capacities instead of having a big gaping hole and void in my general capabilities. So it, it's worrisome, though, because like for runs, I have to walk a lot and I worry that I'm losing any running ability I have. And... Um, but on the other hand, oh, and speed that I have, which is not speed, but I worry that I'm going to go backwards on that. But 
On the other hand, it's been really nice and relaxing and it's easier on my body and I have much more energy for my trainings and it's so it's it's been fun so far. Um, it also has boosted my confidence back a little bit with my running, which was at a really all time low a couple weeks ago. Like I just was not moving hardly at all. Like my pace was like a 1230 minute mile or something. It was really um, painfully slow. But I did uh, when I started my aerobic training, I was able to do a nice quick quicker um, tempo run that first week I didn't do any um, trainings with my running coats this week because the holidays and stuff so I concentrated on experimenting with my aerobic training in the spin bike in the gym um, some run runs outside um, other cardio gym equipment in the gym and I went swimming for the first time, I used my new Garmin swim strap, which was really uh, funny to try to set up correctly, you know, not knowing how to use it yet, the first time I've used it. So uh, I didn't even know how to get it to fit and try to get it on here at the house. And then once I got to the pool and started trying it, I didn't have it set right yet on my Garmin. and. And then I didn't know how to use it correctly. So I spent a lot of time at the pool um, trying to get a first initial way to use it and settings and stuff like that. And um, so I'm glad I didn't have a serious training I was trying to accomplish because I would have been really stressed out that I was spending so much time um, having to sort out my technology rather than do an actual physical training work. So it was just, uh, it was good. I just went there to to give it a try so I could take my time and give it a try what I found was I haven't swam in like a couple months and my swimming ability has gone way backwards and <laughs> I gotta build up again from scratch <sighs> swimming is really really hard now as an adult and um, really hard let me tell you <laughs> and the other training I do is not kind of cross training for swimming like I guess swimming is really oops I haven't washed my hair yet because I haven't worked out yet um, you know sports can be very sports specific and I haven't been swimming much at all as an adult so anyway I've really suffered in the pool <laughs> I only went 500 yards total and I stopped a lot, which is fine. I'll just have to build up. But I experimented with my heart rate and I found that my heart rate does pretty well in an aerobic way swimming in a pool. So, so far the only thing that I have really hard trouble with is running outside and my heart rate just goes way too high, way out of aerobic range. But so far with every other kind of physical activity, it's it's fine so that's very interesting to me so I'll be interested to see how this um, eventually helps my running so what happened is that the only trot I guess you know I the good news is I pretty much had the exact same time as last year um, I like to get better and it's kind of a disappointment to me when I don't do better than previous years but at least it's the same pretty much exact same time and pace it's just slow, but um, it's 4.1 4 miles I went according to my Garmin. And my time was 47 minutes and 28 seconds. And my pace average was 11 minutes and 26 seconds a minute mile, which is better than 12 minute, 30 second minute mile. But that's like almost exactly what I did last year. And so that's kind of good compared to how I've been feeling in the last couple months. And it was really cold and it was kind of slow at the beginning because everybody was bunched up and kind of kind of walking at the start to try to move the crowd forward to where you could finally spread out. So that made it a little slow too. Um, but, you know, I felt pretty good that I, I have to look at my splits, but usually I, I'm pretty good the first mile. I slow way down the second mile 
and then I speed up a little bit on a third mile of a 5k this was four miles but I felt like I was um, speeding up each mile I should look at my splits on GarminConnect.com here let's see what it says but anyway you guys probably aren't even interested um, uh, anyway aside from that um, I, I feel like I'm doing better on my food plan uh, I'm still not 100% perfect but I'm not expecting that of myself right now since I'm off season it's better for me to be perfect but oh well and um but the biggest thing that i've changed i think is that i haven't bought any more almond nut butter so i haven't been eating almond nut butter i have a jar of it down at work which i don't even like it because it's store-bought rather than you crush your own at the co-op so i don't even really like it but um so i haven't been eating all the almond nut butter which is hugely caloric <laughs> So I think that's good <laughs> and so that's a big improvement actually I'm, I'm really happy with that improvement and I decided I had a craving for more vegetables so I've been adding more vegetables in which I think is perfectly fine and healthy to do for Thanksgiving I brought a big huge salad to my brother's house and um, I put in beets because I, I love beets and I had like an idea of a beet walnut goat cheese salad sounds really good to me but apparently I'm the only one that likes beets which is really sad because I put a lot of beets in and some people didn't even eat the salad hardly which is really disappointing but I ate a lot and I have a huge amount of salad in my refrigerator because I bought way too much salad stuff so I think I'm going to give some to a friend of mine but I think I'm going to eat some too this week which isn't on my food plan but I think that's fine and it's probably better than eating other things I eat to fill in like eating when I feel like eating so I think that's okay there is fruit on my food plan this week I'm looking at it um, there's apple and pineapple but um, so I think beets will be fine they're kind of sweet so um, and I have some frozen strawberries I thought out for mixing in yogurt for a snack um, that's not on the plan, but strawberries are good for you, even though they're frozen. So I feel pretty good about what I'm eating, kind of um, pretty much. So in the times I want to overeat, uh, I'm going to try eating some salad and stuff. That'll help. So I feel much better, um, and I'm pleased I was actually able to run this race um, somewhat and um so i think things are getting better i'm hoping <laughs> they are it's a little step by step very very slow let's see what else thanksgiving went pretty good i was not looking forward to the drive up to my family's but i um took off earlier than i needed to and that i didn't hit any traffic and on the way back i didn't have to hit any traffic so it was perfect and the weather was good so that was good. Me and Muffin had a good day. Um, what else? In the gym, still trying to crush it with the weights and add some buffy muscle. And that's going good. So all in all, I think it's been a pretty good week, I think. Not 100% perfect with the food thing, but... But fun trying some new training I think good adding some um, I was kind of going by the seat of my pants with a food plan because I didn't get it on time last weekend and I made my own and I feel good about it I used different meals from different past plans and I think I did really good with that so all is pretty good this week I feel healthy except that cold yesterday knocked a little bit of immune system out of me I think but I'll just have to pamper my immune system today with vitamin C and I have these recovery drinks um, that I think I should drink a lot so 
There you go. We'll see how much energy I have at the gym this morning. I hate being later at the gym. It just throws out my energy, but should be okay. And maybe even fun. Maybe I'll see some people I know. And for the rest of the day, I'm going to talk to my figure coach on the phone, my life figure coach person. And uh, I don't know what else I'm going to do. So it should be a nice, pretty relaxing few days, I'm hoping. So I hope you all are well, and I hope to hear from you, and I um, hope look forward to hearing from you. I, I really enjoy getting notes down below and comments from new people who are watching, and, and that's really exciting to me, and people that have been on the same journey as me and struggle here and there and have accomplishments here and there. Um, I'm really grateful for my health. I am so grateful for my health. If anything, top and foremost, except there's muffin and my house and everything in a working capacity in my life, <laughs> there's a lot to be grateful for. But I am also really grateful for my health. There's nothing like being healthy and being able to move and feel good in my body and feel good in my mind and feel good in my health so knock on wood that keeps a positive way and I hope you all are doing well and I look forward to hearing from you below and I'll talk to you soon bye